Hello everybody. So this video will be some two part video and I will show you how to make a really really easy metal air batteries. In the past I get many requests about if I can show uh, how to make some batteries. And most of these requests are requesting if I can show how to make some really easy metal air batteries with really easy materials which are not hard to find. So the first metal air battery which I will make is of course some aluminium air battery. So aluminium air battery is really really popular on YouTube because you have a lot of videos how to make some uh, aluminium air battery. And in this video I will be focused into two types of electrolyte. One is some sodium chloride and another is some potassium hydroxide. So instead of potassium hydroxide you can also use sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide you can find uh, in some store really easily and sodium chloride you can find in your kitchen and this is in basic some table salt. So here I use one mole of potassium hydroxide and here I add 20 grams of uh, sodium chloride into 100 milliliters of water. So to make some aluminium air battery of course you need some sort of aluminium. So here I have some aluminium plate but instead of using this one you can also use some uh, aluminium foil which you can find in your kitchen. Uh, but to increase the surface area of this aluminium air battery you can also use some aluminium powder. But first I will start with this aluminium plate. So the aluminium will be the negative electrode and here I have the positive electrode and in basic the current collector is from some graphite plate uh, but instead of graphite plate you can also use some stainless steel so stainless steel or graphite graphite foil will also work very really, very really fine and here in the top I have some active material and this active material is some activated carbon. In basic any type of carbon will work in any of these metal air batteries. But to get really nice results you need to use some activated carbon. Like this one. Here this one I buy on eBay. But instead of this you can also use this one. So this is the activated carbon for aquarium and you see some large pieces of activated carbon so this one will works really really fine but before uh, you start using this you need to crush uh, these large particles into fine powder so to prepare some slurry of activated carbon i just add some activated carbon powder into this beaker and on the top i put some of the electrolyte. In this case I use potassium hydroxide and then I mix to get some slurry and this slurry I put on my current collector which is in my case some graphite plate. So the separator of course is some toilet paper. First I will use some potassium hydroxide electrolyte and aluminium on the top and you get really easy made uh, aluminium air battery so for the positive current collector you can use some graphite plate or stainless steel uh, 
the positive active material need to be i mean you will get better performance if you use some uh activated carbon uh the separator is some toilet paper the electrolyte is some uh, one mole of potassium hydroxide right now and on the top is some aluminium for the negative electrode and this is your aluminium air battery which is really really easy to make but like i said instead of potassium hydroxide you can also use some sodium hydroxide and let's check the voltage and with on this one i get 1.5 volts so recording to wikipedia uh, on wikipedia if you search for aluminium air battery you will find that uh, in wikipedia is described that the aluminium air battery have the voltage of 1.2 volts so with this system i get 1.5 volts and have the capacity over 8.1 kilowatt hours per kilogram 8100 watt hours per kilogram this is a lot this is really really a lot but the capacity of this aluminium air battery also on all metal air batteries is depending on the size of the battery and also the surface area of the battery larger you will get the surface area uh, more capacity you will get but the size of the battery if you have a small battery or a large battery will not affect the voltage the voltage will be always the same now i will make the same aluminium air battery but this time i will use uh, sodium chloride here i make some slurry which is made from activated carbon and uh, sodium chloride electrolyte and i get less than one volt so these two aluminium air batteries are made with only activated carbon but uh, into this activated carbon you can also add some catalyst this catalyst is some manganese dioxide and this manganese dioxide you can easily find in these batteries so this one is some zinc carbon battery and have some amount of manganese dioxide inside if you use the electrolyte which is sodium chloride you can use this manganese dioxide from this carbon zinc battery but if you use potassium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide electrolyte then in this case you need to use some uh, manganese dioxide from alkaline zinc batteries now i will show you some aluminium air battery which have some small amount of manganese dioxide and here i have my positive electrode which i already prepared and the electrolyte on this one will be potassium hydroxide On this one I get 1.64 volts and now the same way I will try with sodium chloride electrolyte so here I also have some uh, manganese dioxide which was mixed uh, with uh, activated carbon And this time when I use sodium chloride, I get the voltage of 1.2 volts. The next metal air battery will be some iron air battery. So iron air battery according to Wikipedia have the voltage of 1.3 volts and the capacity of around 2000 watt hours per kilogram.
so the positive effective material uh, also on this iron uh, air battery will be the same like I use in aluminium air battery on this one I use potassium hydroxide and and for the negative electrode you can use any source of iron like this or you can use something like this which is some uh, iron wool uh, or some iron powder but iron powder will work the best because iron powder have really nice surface area so I will try this one so this is the cell with potassium hydroxide and the voltage here is 0.7 Four volts. So this iron air battery have uh, the electrolyte, uh, which is potassium hydroxide, but together with activated carbon, have some small amount of manganese dioxide. And let's see if we get a little bit better voltage. And yeah, the voltage is still 0.73 volts. And now here I have some iron air battery with sodium chloride electrolyte and I get 0 0.6 volts with sodium chloride this iron air battery have small amount of manganese dioxide Let's see if we get a little bit better voltage. And now 0.73 volts. And the third metal air battery is of course some magnesium air battery. So magnesium air battery according to Wikipedia have the voltage of 2.93 volts and the capacity of 6400 watt hours per kilogram so my first magnesium air battery have uh, the electrolyte of potassium hydroxide and activated carbon for the positive active material and let's check the voltage and on this one I get 1.1 volts which is really really bad my next magnesium air battery still have the electrolyte of potassium hydroxide but the active material is a mix from activated carbon and manganese dioxide and let's check the voltage of this one and I get 1.47 volts the next magnesium air battery have the electrolyte which is some sodium chloride and I get 1.84 volts and this battery can't really easy light up some LED with no problem at all and the last magnesium air battery still have the electrolyte of sodium chloride but have some small amount of manganese dioxide and I get two volts really easily nice so this one I also test uh, for several hours and after several hours this magnesium air battery which is based on sodium chloride and have also some small amount of manganese dioxide uh, run the LED for several hours already. So guys this was the first part of these metal air batteries which you can make at home really really easily 
uh, the basic electrolytes which I use was some table salt uh, and potassium hydroxide, one more of potassium hydroxide. Instead of this one, you can also use some sodium uh, hydroxide. And in this video, I show you the aluminum air battery, iron air battery, and magnesium air battery. The best voltage, the best performance uh, of all these three batteries have the magnesium air battery with the highest voltage of two volts. Uh, the second best metal air battery in this video was of course some aluminum air battery. The next three metal air batteries will be in the part two. So guys, that's it for now and we we'll see us in the next video. Bye.